Sometimes I think What will people say of me When I'm only just a memory When I'm home where my soul belongs Dude, it's meant everything, man. That guy's great. He's been the best influence on my life. Him and Eddie Neary have impacted my life more than any person on earth. I will be depressed without him. No, I won't be depressed. I'll see him all the time. I'll just sneak over to his house, pass out on his couch, whatever. He's your best buddy and he's always there for you. I want to live my Mike is really awesome, and we're really going to miss him. I always know he's there if I need to talk, and uh, he's always there to give me guidance. Mike has impacted everyone's lives. And to see the youth group grow closer, and um, I don't know, and youth staff and youth band and everything just um, grow closer to God and help me grow closer to God just impacts everything we all do. It's been wonderful having Mike. He's, he's an awesome man. Really appreciate it. I've known Mike for about three years now. Uh, really good guy. He baptized me. I was saved in FCA by him. He's a really great, funny guy. And love him a lot. Good heart. His son's pretty cool too. He hit me a lot as a child. <gasps> I love Mike, uh -huh. and I'm really gonna miss him. And I'm really sad to see him go because he's been like a second father now. He's not where he's supposed to be, but I, I love him. He's always been there for my sister, so. Taking care of our girls and love them like they were his, and we love him too, and we always will. I've known him for ever since I was about five. The way he talks, it's yeah. funny. Whether it was with worship or whatever it was, Mike was always just right so encouraging and always would give an honest opinion and. Uh, was just really good at lifting people up and making us feel like we could accomplish anything we wanted. Well, he helps out a lot and he makes you a good pastor. I want to show the world the love you gave for me. I'm longing for the world to know the glory of the King. I think Mike's been a great addition to the church, and uh, if he does leave, we're gonna we're gonna miss him. I've enjoyed everything he's done for both of my kids, and I've enjoyed watching him grow as a youth minister. Mike Gibson is a brother to me, uh, a real close brother. I will tell you this much. Uh, I mean, he, he went on deployment and uh, he came back, and man, he was just a servant of servants. Uh, it's all good. Just he rolls with it, and uh, he did the very best he could. It's been wonderful. Yeah. I love working with him and watching him uh, relate to the kids. And then they love him. My parents love him. That, that, I guess that's the thing I notice more than anything else is how much the parents respond to it. They mind, how well they respond to it. I appreciate what he did for my kids. He's a good man. He was a good mentor for me as I started into youth ministry and he was just a uh, great help for me as I was starting out in uh, youth ministry. So I just thank you so much, Mike, for giving the opportunities that you presented to me and uh, just thank you so much for your leadership in uh, Hera. I don't mind if you got something nice to say about me. guys that uh, I look up to and, and strive to be like. Uh, his relationship with his family, his walk with God is the, uh, one of the strongest I've ever seen. When him and Doug uh, invited me into this church, uh, and when he first came from Atlanta, Fall Street, 
he's the one that like influenced me into doing Christian rap. So I'm happy of having you as a youth pastor, and thank you very much. We're gonna miss you, Mike. Love you. <laughs> Bow up to him with my chest, and bump him, and I'm like, "What up, Mike?" And he's just like dying laughing. It makes me happy because I can make him mad. I love your hair; it's always spiky. Yeah, and your little old man beard. It's got some gray in it. Well, he's been impacting my life the last uh, seven years. He's been a youth pastor. He's, he's patient. He really communicate with students. They listen to him, they respect him, he treats them with respect. He listens to everything they say, he takes it into consideration. Out of all the youth I've learned from other churches and everything, so I've been uh, Patrick. Uh, no one's as meaningful in my life than the youth I've been This is one of my first times up in youth group. You, you, you really let me thinking. Uh, that was the only time I've ever cri cried during church. And uh, he, he's, always, uh, he's always been a very good, solid, uh, fortress for me, I guess. Mike, do you remember that time we went and saw Grudge Match? That was all of you. He makes me feel like a true Christian because he he believes in me. All I can say is I honestly love Mike. I've always respected him. Um, even if we didn't see eye to eye on something, I always knew if I had something going on, I could always come to Mike. And I think most of the kids could relate to that. Even if they didn't necessarily like Mike at the time, he, everybody knew that he would be there for me. He's shown me that even a quiet man can hurt or get respect and lead kids and affect families without even, I mean, with no skills. It's just trusting God. You know what I mean? I, I love Mike. <laughs> I just told, said he didn't have any skills, but he, Mike knows. You know Mike. <laughs>
He has talked to me and he's helped me out a lot. He always makes me laugh and he brings me I think of my kids, they've really been a good influence. Yeah. They really enjoy it. Yeah. We miss you badly. He's just always been there for us. He's a great spiritual leader. His heart. What about it? It's huge. How so? It's so big that it flows outside of his mouth. That was one of the things that I thought the first meeting that I had with this with this trip was that, hey, Mike might be a really nice guy to get to know, and uh, that was something, kind of one of my missions uh, this week was to get to know people such as Mike, and uh, I think that he's a, he's a great guy. He explains things in a way that everyone can understand. Thank you for what you've done to our church. Uh, we know you have uh, love and sacrifice for our country and our church. He's been a big influence on me. He accepts anybody without knowing their past. Actually, I would have never thought like I would come to a church ever and ever again. But I always kept coming because I love how he talks. I get him, you know, like I love how he just preaches the word and I just understand him. And I think he really helps teenagers understand. Mike's impacted our lives in countless ways. Uh, we just have the utmost respect for him. Um, you know, it, it shows in how we asked him to, to marry us and you know do our counseling because we just have a lot of respect for him. We can tell him anything. Um, he's just uh, the most one of the most humble guys I've ever known. And um, we lo we love you, Mike. We just respect you. We love you. I love you, Mike, and I'm gonna miss you. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would come me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith would be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. He's really taught me a lot about the Bible, you know. Um, he's been a really good influence on me, and um, I just, I like, I remember a lot of funny stories about him, and he's just been a really good impact in my life. Neary Butch here, Mike. I just wanted to say how much we appreciate you. I want to tell you. Amen. And we love you. Thanks, Mike. Mike, you meant the world to my family, and I can't put into words just the impact that you have made for the kingdom of Christ. I know that God goes and shows us the next few steps when we're faithful in following Him. And I know even though He's ch closing this chapter in your life, He's, he's opening a new one. But I do want to thank you for the impact you made on the, on the hair and youth, the impact you made on my family, and the impact you've, you've made on me really have gone ahead and let God use you in a mighty way. And there's no greater calling than what you've been about for the last seven years. From the bottom of my heart, and all these people are just testifying of the impact you made in your life. From them and me, thank you so much for being a part of FBC, FBC here. Thank you again so much being willing to be used by God to impact His kingdom. Thanks for everything.